Um, now, before uh, I get into that, um, I should tell you that uh, this advice, these videos that I give you are for informational purposes. Um, I do hope they help you make a decision with uh, purchases or with uh, work that you're doing on your own home. Um, but questions like this uh, really have a lot of factors involved and uh, it's not just like a yes or no answer. Um, uh, electrical work does take a uh, uh, skilled man professional um, uh, or and or it also takes um, some work through the city, oftentimes uh, engineering. There's a lot of national codes, fire codes that are involved with electrical work. So uh, just you have to keep all those things in mind um, uh, when working with larger uh, issues like electrical panel. So that being said, can you replace your own electrical panel? Uh, well, the truth is, uh, yes, you can do that. You do have, you're legally uh, able to do that. Uh, and if you have uh, enough skill, well, wherewithal, uh, or patience, uh, or just some good common sense, uh, you can uh, do that work on your own. Uh, so there's a lot of factors involved with that. Um, if you ask an electrician uh, or a contractor, an electrical contractor, uh, and just kind of ask him what would be involved in that, he will tell you that there are a lot of things that you have to look out for, uh, small little things, um, and not just things that an inspector uh, would uh, call you on or the things that the city would require. Uh, so there's a lot of little things, and uh, I'm sure that you know and understand uh, the dangers in electricity, working with electricity. Um, uh, one of the main things uh, that you have to consider is uh, that when you work on your own panel, now I'm talking about a residential uh, electrical panel, is uh, that the service has to be done live. Uh, now, and this is basically in California, I don't know if in other states the electrical utility will do this for you, but uh, you do not, Edison or the electrical utility uh, does not or will not uh, disconnect the power for you. Um, so when you remove the meter in the panel, uh, that all that does is it, it de-energizes the panel from the meter down to the consumer side of the panel, which is where the breakers are at. Uh, but from the meter up through the riser, um, through their overhead, um, that is all energized. Uh, now that's for an overhead feed. There's underground feeds, which is another issue. So uh, this, kind of, like I say, this gets into uh, other uh, things that you have to consider when you're replacing your panel. So uh, if you have someone that you can talk to, maybe you have a friend or an electrician that can come over and help you with it. Uh, if this is something that you want to do on your own, um, for an electrician that knows what he's doing, uh, it's something that would probably take, um, he could probably do it in four to six hours. Uh, typically, it's about a day's work uh, when you take into consideration uh, current code changes, which means uh, upgrades to like your grounding and things like that, uh, as well as structural repairs, maybe to the roof or the wall uh, in order to finish it. Sometimes two days. Uh, but basically the electricity only has to be off for about half a day, four to six hours. Uh, and, and that's for an electrician that would know uh, what he's doing. Uh, and so uh, I can't speak. Well, I can, but I, can, I don't want to quote any prices on what, what it would cost for an electrician to uh, do this type of work. Uh, I can tell you that it's not cheap. Um, but I can tell you this. Uh, if you're planning on doing your own work, or if you're going to have an electrician do it for you, or a contractor do the work for you, uh, the material alone is going to cost between six and eleven or twelve hundred dollars, uh, depending on the scope of the project. And this is, like I say, this is for a wood frame residential uh, electrical panel replacement. So uh, keep these things in mind. There's many other uh, factors involved, um, uh, things which I will go over in future videos. Um, and I'll try to kind of give you as much information as possible uh, in the future to kind of help you make better decisions. Uh, and if you have specific questions on this, feel free to uh, ask me. So, hope that helps. Have a good day.
even been electrocuted a few times. 